Man, Mewtwo looks really damn nice. Um, yeah, I decided to get a Mewtwo. I actually went Christmas shopping too. I actually got um, an item, item at Cinderella Girls deck boxes. Because I'm really getting into Cinderella Girls. Like, really into it. Like, I actually have the deck and everything because like, I showed you two before. And I need a deck box. And this is like kind of the ones that I would use regularly. So... Yeah, anyways, hey guys, welcome to um, Tuesday the 15th, it's December and everything. Um, today, we just had a Smash broadcast revealing three brand new characters for DLC. And damn, that was fun to watch. I, did, um, I was at a friend, I was um, with a couple friends when we were watching it. I didn't bring my camera. Um, and yeah, first things first, we have Corin the main protagonist for Fire Emblem Fates. You know how excited I am with Fates. So I was excited to see him. He looks really cool. He looks very different. Not like he's like Ike different compared to like Marth and like the other guy Marth and the other swordsman. Uh not as different as like Robin. But like he's very unique. I really like I really like how he plays and he's Looks like a future main to me because I really like him and stuff. Maybe I don't know. Well, like it really does concern me that um, there's a lot of Smash. There's a lot of Fire Emblem characters in Smash. Like Jesus Christ, like six of them are Fire Emblem characters, and like Mario has like six to seven of them. Pokemon has I think six. Maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's six. Oh, God damn it! I don't remember anymore. Six or five, but around there. And Zelda has five, so that's very mind-boggling, actually. I was, I was just updating it, but, like, I guess it's really been... I never expect Fire Emblem to be that popular. It was very niche before Awakening, and, like, apparently everyone's been playing Awakening and stuff, so, like, that's... A, that's that's um that's some thing cool i guess um but like people are kind of starting to get a little frustrated with the fact that we have another fire emblem character it's practically like a joke at this time where like people just like make fun of the fact that we have another fire emblem character like it it is ridiculous and everything but like because i because i'm like a diehard fire emblem because i am like a super fire emblem fan i'm I'm excited no matter what, and like those, and then when you look at it another way, he looks like a really great character to play as. So, yeah, um, Cloud, I gotta, I haven't got him yet because like I'm just waiting for the eShop to die down. I'm pretty much died down at this point, but I gotta download it like after this vlog or something. But like I'm gonna try to play him as soon as possible, and hopefully, I would use him a lot more and such but like the big reveal which is Bayonetta Bayonetta and Smash it's just like that's ridiculous and such so um that's definitely someone I really want to play to use and like show off against my friends cause like that is such a character to just be flashy as possible and I like being flashy and such and being cool in that way there's like, like I like to use Zero Suit and like Meta Knight um Pit and Fox are really cool and such, so that's basically how I want to play a game like that. And it's just like free flowing combos and such. So I'm really excited. I'm actually, I was actually a li I was kind of shocked the Bayonetta, but she does make a lot of sense and everything. And what I was shocked is that she was like the number one most requested votes that are viable. So a viable character. So like Shrek and Goku are definitely there were there were votes for Shrek and Goku, but like. Definitely not viable. I'm I'm actually happy the Bayonetta is going to be in Smash because like here's the thing. We have Mario, Link, Pikachu, and Samus, and then we have Mega Man, Pac Man, Ryu from Street Fighter, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy, and Bayonetta, all in the same game. Never in my childhood would I imagine. Those kind of characters to be in the same game trying to fight each other. It's like fan. It's like a childhood dream come true. Like 
Well, I didn't really wish for like certain characters. Like um, I didn't think like I probably thought about Cloud as like a child, but like I never thought he would be like in a Nintendo game like ever. But like that's really cool that like he's so he that he's in the game and like that's very mind blowing and such. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, overall, I'm actually kind of feeling sad that that was like the last bit of DLC. Not because like it was. It wasn't good like it was excellent and everything like i really like it and it gave me a lot of information that i really want to learn about i'm just sad that it's practically over at this point according to sakurai there's no there there is a chance that there would be more but honestly i think he can let go of this project like he was developing being it for years and even he was still developing it after it was released and Jesus Christ, it was, there was so much to do. There was so much to do, and there was so much to add, and then a lot has been added. This is like the biggest roster, the biggest amount of stages. This is my favorite, favorite cast and everything, and like, it's, and it's like, I'm a Smash 4 player because of the fact that a lot of my favorite characters are in their game, and a lot of cool characters that I want to try out, a lot of cool characters that... I would never imagine being in the game and the characters that just make me interested in their games too it's basically why Smash Bros exists so it's like thanks here's to you Sakurai for like creating one of the best franchises in like the whole world anyway that's gonna be for today I didn't have I don't have much to like talk about for today I was just showing off what I got today and then talking about the direct so yeah thank you so much for watching and tune in next time. I have nothing better to do right now other than, like, get cloud now.